Are you looking for decodable books to use with your learners? In this video, I'll be sharing the best of the best. I'll be honest, even though I was a classroom teacher for many years and taught my own children to read, I avoided decodable books for a long time. The ones I had seen were boring, stilted, and I was sure they would kill a love of reading. However, as I investigated more into the science of reading and the research about how we learn to read, I realized that decodable books were the best option for beginning readers. Thankfully, there are great options for you and I'm gonna share them in this video. One of our very favorites is Flyleaf Publishing. As you can see here, the books are bright and colorful. The pictures are amazing and the books actually tell real stories. There's a mixture of fiction and nonfiction, informational texts and even poetry. Flyleaf books are on the pricey side and there aren't many books for each phonics pattern, but they're definitely something to add to your library when you can afford it. If you're teaching brand new readers, you'll definitely want to check out Reading for All Learners. While you can buy books from many different levels, the early books start very slowly, adding just a few letters at a time. The stories can feel a little stilted, but the pictures help make up for it. These are fun books that beginning readers will enjoy. They're also quite affordable. You should also check out Susan Eber's Power Readers. These are a collection of 28 books. The books not only contain stories, but they also have exercises for building phonemic awareness, vocabulary, and reading comprehension. The books themselves are rather flimsy because they're meant to be written in, and the pictures are in black and white. Some of the language is a bit stilted, but overall these are good stories and a great option for you. If, like me, you've been convinced that there's no way a decodable book can tell a good story, you've got to check out Jill Lauren's Whole Phonics books. These are hilarious, the pictures are great, and they're very engaging books. The stories are on the long side, and there are a lot of words per page, so I wouldn't recommend them for brand new readers, but as kids get more comfortable sounding out CVC words, these are a great next step. You'll also want to check out her website for accompanying workbooks, videos, and games. I highly recommend the Spire Decodable books. There's quite a few sets, and they're on the affordable side. Yes, the pictures are black and white, but the stories are good and the pictures aren't babyish. These are great for new readers and struggling readers alike. Another great series of decodable books is the Alphabet series, which was created to go along with Recipe for Reading. I love that the author was able to add sounds with each book and still tell interesting stories. The pictures are black and white, but they're really funny. Highly recommend. Another series to check out are the Beanstalk books. What's great about these is that the little books are sturdy, affordable, and there's a variety of fiction and nonfiction. That said, some of the stories are a little strange and don't always make sense. Some of the early books are more a collection of pictures that are unrelated rather than actually telling a story. I do believe there are still many good books in this series, but not all the stories are of equal quality. You'll also want to check out Phonic Books, which are from the UK. I love that there are a huge variety of books in this series for early readers all the way up to age 14 and up. The illustration style is unusual, with drawings on top of photographs. The early series, called Dandelion, adds just a few sounds per book, but is still very interesting and engaging. You'll enjoy exploring their website and seeing all they have to offer. Many teachers recommend the Half Pint readers, and it's easy to see why. There's a big collection, they're affordable, and the stories are funny. The books are also very simple. As you can see in this picture, there's just a few words per page, some of the early books even follow a predictable pattern for support while including words that kids need to sound out. Fabulous books for beginning readers. Another option for you are the bound books from GoPhonics. Each of these books includes multiple stories and there are collections for varying levels of phonics skills. The stories are funny and even though the pictures are black and white, they're great. My little guy read this early book at least 10 times cover to cover. And there you are, a look at the best decodable books for beginning readers. Head to my website for a complete list, the ultimate guide to decodable text. Not only will you find links for purchasing these books, but you'll also find places to get free decodable text. Head to themeasuredmom.com forward slash get decodable. 